You would think Joseph Gordon-Levitt's role as a badass cop in The Dark Knight Rises would have left him a little bruised, but believe it or not, it was his follow-up role as a bike messenger that nearly got him killed. Aren't you afraid of dying? I mean, the way you ride? Hey everyone, I'm Brian Corsetti and ENTV has all the details. Joseph Gordon-Levitt stars in Premium Rush, which hits theaters today. I like to ride. Fixed gear, no brakes. Can't stop. Don't want to either. But if you thought a movie about a bike messenger couldn't possibly be as thrilling as his previous work in Inception and The Dark Knight Rises, think again. Just as far as pure, like, physical energy and exertion, um, Premium Rush was harder. <laughs> Take what happened during the filming of the movie, which follows JGL's character who is heavily pursued after picking up a suspicious package. You gotta ask for it back. Yeah, the thing is, once it goes in the bag, it's gotta stay in the bag. During an interview with Hollywood.com, Levitt and director David Kep revealed how one stunt went horribly wrong. One day, they closed 6th Avenue in Manhattan to film a scene in which Gordon weaved through a bunch of cars at 30 miles an hour. Ah, tricky. Seconds before Kep called action, a real-life diplomat in an SUV decided it was a good idea to bust through the barricades and onto the movie set. The runaway car cut off Gordon Levitt, causing the actor to make a snap decision between swerving into live traffic or into another unknown area. Ultimately, the director explains, Joe crashed through the back windshield of a cab and cut himself to ribbons. It was awful because there was about 30 seconds between his crash and the moment I hear it. So I have to go check if he's dead or not. That was the worst part for me. But the thing about a bike is, the slightest contact can kill you. Luckily, Gordon Levitt made it out alive, but did get 30 or so stitches scattered around his body. The actor seemed to have the right outlook on the incident, though. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. I, I gotta be grateful. Um, I was working the next day. In fact, the actor even encouraged Cap to film some of the blood from his injuries before getting treated. The best part was the footage actually made it into the film. Talk about committing to a role. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Brian Corsetti. Click the arrows on either side of the screen to watch our next or previous stories. And remember to subscribe to ENTV for all your entertainment news first.